We tell people what we do and why we are great and then people buy what we have to sell. In these transformational times, starting with the what is not a, it's, it's not a good idea. Simply because the niches are so small and SMEs are mostly positioned in a niche. That starting with the what you do doesn't really make sense. You have to start with the why. And the why shows your value proposition. It explains how you challenge the status quo. Why you are existing. Why you are thinking differently. It shows your customer that you have identified a problem and that you have identified this problem into your own opportunity. Now the question is, whose responsibility is that? And the reason why I flip back to this was because it's easy to explain. The leader, the CEO, is the one that has to know the why. He has, he or she, of course, has to have the vision why his or her company exists. And the management then knows the how. And the organization then knows what to do. And that brings you in a position where you have a clear, created a clear value proposition. It's very easy. Think about Airbnb. What is their why? Think about Uber. What is their why? Their why is taxi doesn't work. Drivers are unfriendly, are not come showing up in time, um, dirty cars, old cars, no chance to interact with the driver, no chance to evaluate, no chance to influence the quality. And these problems, they have turned into their opportunities. You evaluate the driver. All of a sudden, the driver has no interest in not being friendly, in not being you know, creating a comfort zone while driving in a taxi because he gets a bad evaluation. And if every one of you has received a bad evalu evaluation on eBay or so, then you know what I mean. We all try to serve our customer on eBay as, as, you know, as well as possible because it's being transparent. And everyone can read about how we behave on eBay, how we behave with other people. And then, if you communicate as the leader to your management team what you need, what you mean, then it's easy for them to create the how. And for the rest of the people in your organization to create what. And that creates a completely different culture. A culture where everyone thinks or, or believes in this why. And being proud of being part of this organization. And this is what you mostly find in younger companies, in SMEs, and not so, you know, in established companies. 